Of course, the storm has led to power outages across our state and is also creating some technical problems, as we noticed when we tried to connect with Kevin Hogan earlier in the broadcast. But all is well now. We're going to go to Westbrook right now. And Kevin, I had asked you earlier, you said your high wind on your anemometer was 57 miles per hour. What did, do you have right now? Well, right now, we, uh, when we talked to you at the top of the hour, we had 33 gusts just as you were introducing us. But at one point, Dennis, we had 64 mile an hour winds wow. here in Westbrook. We're at Pilot Point Marina on the North Line. That, that's amazing. And that, but the winds have been changing. And now look at the, all the blue sky we have coming from the west. And uh, it's just been driving right into the harbor here at Pilot's Point Marina. We're in the north yard, and the boats have all secured. They're all tied down. The winds change direction. Uh, the owners are happy that everything is secure and the wind is changing and the storm is moving fast out. But you can see how angry that ocean looks out there, Long Island Sound. Those waves are kicking. And the wind right now in this anemometer says sustained about 20. Uh, we've peaked 23 there, 18. So it's, it is coming down in the past 20 minutes. We're seeing it starting to recede just a little, but the winds are going to be strong all night. And don't forget, it's... Uh, Tide is going out. We're going to have high tide at 1226. That's tomorrow morning. And uh, with the full moon, that could be some trouble in the, some of the low-lying areas all along the shore. But watch out for the winds. Watch out for the wires and those trees. Live the Mobile Newsroom in Westbrook, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Great demonstration. All right, Kevin.